Cobra's secret lab. Wait, Looks what? like Bird Woman's been knocked out. The heck? This place smells of sleeping gas. I guess she set off a booby trap. The gas seems oh, to be dissipating now. That's what she did. I get it. Uh, we do have a capsule they that hasn't broken though. From the ceiling. Hmm. Can I grab one? <sighs> Definitely sleeping gas. Then I must tell you that the one called Cobra is working for Wait, what? Seth. Seriously? I no. It. I knew she was being suspiciously Dang nice. It. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Metropolis. My name is, of course, Constantine, and we are still in the lab. We are struggling here, trying to figure out how to leave this place. But uh, let me tell you guys, it is not as easy as I ever thought. Now, if you guys missed the previous episode, we managed to do quite a bit of stuff in the previous episode. And uh, now we are stuck at trying to open up the safe here. Uh, we need to find out the combination, and I feel like this one is going to be a four-digit combination. We know the third one, which is going to be the uh, eye over here, the uh, eye of raw. But we have no idea what the other three ones are. So I tried looking at this board over here. And I found this eye. And also these other symbols are around. Uh, but I feel like in order to figure this one out. We need to figure out uh, what the proper order is here. Because again as I was saying. I have no idea why this one is considered the third one. That's what's making this one a little bit more confusing Looks to like me. Looks like an eye. Isis told me the eye of Ra was part of the safe password. Could this be it? Yeah, it is, but again, I don't know why this one is the third one. So, uh, I think I'm just going to leave this one behind for a little bit, and we are going to have to figure out something else, I guess. Um, hmm. What about this thing behind her here? Yeah, I don't think this is uh have to do anything. So, let me keep on trying to figure this out. Uh, in the previous episode, we also tried to figure out what's up with this tree. We know that we can grab ourselves some snow from this one. But again, I have no idea why we're doing that. So let me just switch this one back to winter. Like this. Let me I'm grab some snow some again. Snow. There we I go. I don't think it's going to last long. Outside the tree area, it's quite hot. And let me see how we can make this it's one to be longer. Than the rest, but I still can't reach it. It's lower I than don't the think rest. I can lower the branch. But maybe I can lower the icicle. Hmm. How can we lower the icicle? I feel like we got to turn this into a um, different type of season. Maybe let's go with Autumn. All right. We do see the branch now. Um, the thing is, we got to pull this one down somehow. It's not long enough to climb the tree. It's not long enough to climb the tree. Is the lab coat going to be good enough? Maybe I can hang the lab coat where the icicle formed. Here ah. goes nothing. And maybe the icicle is going to form on the lab coat. I don't know if it'll work, but it's been fun. All right, so we've put the, we've put the lab coat over there. Let me activate winter again. Let's see what's going to happen. There we go. Am I going to be able to get the icicle? It's solid ice. I can't break it with my hands. All right, what about if we use the trowel? There we go. We got it, I think. Yes, we did. Look at that. Combine these I together. I don't want it to melt. Hmm. I mean, I don't know why we need the snow I there, though. I shouldn't touch the ice. I don't want it to melt too fast. Put it in I here. I shouldn't touch the... Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know why I need the uh, snow, but anyway, let me try to make my way oh. then to... The snow has melted. I know, but the icicle is still there. Uh, let me try to make my way to level 2 again. There we go. Uh, to do what we hear, let me go actually... Hold up. No, no, we gotta go inside here, the lab. Perfect. Let me now access this From one. From what I remember, and this device. He I should. I know, put buddy. And then put. I know. And now let me use the icicle in this here. This can't fail. Oh, it's green. Okay. Oh, what? Not as cold as I expected, hmm. but it worked. All right. So we got it a little bit colder again, but this time, it's uh, gone to green. So I'm guessing I may need the snow in here as well. But how am I going to grab the snow without it melting, though? Uh, I'm pretty sure we are going to need that in order for it to work. Yellow. I'm getting closer. Oh, never mind. It's yellow. It's not purple as I wanted it to be. So it's not green. This is ye uh, yellow. Hmm. It's on and ready to use. All right. So we definitely need something more. 
but we may need some sort of a device to grab the snow and put it on, I guess. Um, let's see here. Let me also tell this guy about the ancient bomb. I feel like this guy is an, uh, a scientist, so maybe he can uh, help Luke me up with something. Luke is just the person I need. Luke, I need oh, help there we making go. I one knew of it. these. What is it? It's a very old device called a smoke bomb. Sounds dangerous. Deadly dangerous. Not at all. According to the label, the smoke is harmless. Look, you can still read the ingredients. Huh, doesn't look too dangerous. Can you make it? Let me see. I think so. The components are fairly common chemicals. Give me a minute. Done. This no is way. just a powder. No way, he actually made You'll me a uh, smoke bomb. In. I'm working on it. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. Chemical components. Luke has managed to recreate the chemical components of the smoke bomb, following the information on the casing. But I still need a new casing and fuse. Well, we got the casing over here and the fuse over here. So let me see if I can the actually make it. It's pretty similar to the original casing. I think I could make a homemade smoke bomb out of it. That's it. Oh, it's packed in a little tight, <laughs> but it looks good. That looks awesome. This looks more like a bong, but anyway. And now if I use the threads, it would make a good fuse. But it won't light as it is. I need something to keep the flame burning all along the length of it. I need something to keep the flame burning all along the length of it. Uh, maybe we need some sort of a fuel. If I put this in fuel. Oh. That doesn't belong in the. Interesting. So maybe we gotta drench this in some sort of fuel, right? What about the relics? The relics here? we've been studying for the past few months. Never mind. Um, anything you hear? It's empty and inactive. It activates it's automatically empty. when there are samples inside. How do I put samples inside, or how do we get some samples inside here? How's server training going? Uh, have you found anything yet? Have you found it? Just the satellite maps I told you about. Now I'm analyzing. We could use. Hmm. I'll be back. See you later, man. All right, what about my computer? I use it to log my archaeological work, but I can't focus on work right now. Seriously? Huh. I really want to get this going, but I have no idea how to do it. Again, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure we got to get some of that snow, but I have no idea what to do with the snow. And at the moment, I am a little bit stuck. At least we managed to figure out... That cloud is shaped like a... Jeez! <laughs> At least we managed to figure out um, this part of the puzzle with the icicle. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we also need the... That doesn't make any sense. The snow as well. Hmm. So we got the sashimi. I wonder if I'm going to need something else though as the food. Uh, let me see what else we can do around here. So what if I try to co chat with Colada? I'll like keep him. Let me know if anyone... Oh, so sure. nothing new here, apparently. Interesting. It's a flat screwdriver. Hmm. I don't want to type. I wonder what I'm supposed to get myself some fuel, though. To drench that string into. Uh, let me go to the basement. Alright, so we got to the basement. What about this area? Let's see. We got a book. Uh, this one is only telling us about that device. Where bone Backwards. calcium concentration exceeds 400 parts per thousand, let delta equal mu squared multiplied by the DNA reintegration factor. Interesting approach. Yeah, definitely not something I'm by interested the in. Squid. What perversion of nature do I see before? <laughs> Wait. I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> All right, never mind, never mind. We got that going. Um, let me see if I can chat with Frida about Frida. something. Enjoy your break. Oh wait, what? Frida, enjoy your break. She's got a cup over here. I don't know um, what that's all about. Can I show her this thing? I don't know why I'd want that. No. What about the thread? I don't know why. I'd... No. Oh, hold up. What if I try to put the thread inside here? Mm, no. No. I've already taken it. Hmm. Interesting. They are essential supplies for survival outside our enclave. 
No one can leave Honeycomb City without one of these kits. Now that we've got it, we can go get Total. Alright, buddy. It doesn't like we can't do anything else in here, unfortunately. Alright, let me keep on looking around then. Uh, what do we got here? What shall I buy today? Do I have anything good that I could use as fuel? Chocolate, salmon, empanadillas, skewers. I'll take these? some maki. Maki. Hmm. I mean, we got the maki, but I don't think I can even do anything with it. Well, at least we got this. Can I actually grab the lab coat back? I don't even know. I don't think I can. I think I've lost it forever. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to grab it back. It's definitely going to be still there. Alright, anyway, I'm not going to be able to grab it back then. Uh, so, let me try to chat with her. Uh, can I? You can call me Henry. What was that about the IRR? Back with the contents. Of I'll the be back. Safe. Watch out for. Hmm. Interesting. Now I don't see any possibility of getting myself some fuel though. Uh, to get that string soaked in. So let me make it uh, winter again, so I can grab myself some uh, snow. There we go. Uh, can I actually use this with? I don't snow? want to tie that. No, I don't want you to tie. I just wanted to snow. grab some snow. There we go. I don't think it's going to last outside the tree area. I know. And so these I don't two want together. To tie that. No. I don't want it to. Hmm. It would make a good fuse, but it won't light as it is. I need something to keep the flame burning all along the length of it. All along the length of it. I don't want to tie that. That doesn't make. Huh. Your note? I shouldn't mess. I here? shouldn't mess with total no. secret note. Hmm. Really confusing. I have enough. Oh. Yeah, I know this is gonna melt. That's okay. Uh, let me just make my way back up here and try to figure something else out. Uh, what if? What if I try to use the thread with I the don't capsules? Want to tie that. Hmm. I mean, I don't want you to tie it, buddy. I just wanted you to uh, soak it in it, maybe. Ancient documents, sensor. Flex it's a darts. flexi dartboard. Of course, she's a good. A pyramid-shaped building. The paper looks old. Too bad I don't have the geological chronometer. Uh, we also have the lamp over here. Can I maybe use the thread with the lamp? I don't want to tie that. No. This lamp seems to be the one that was causing problems. Cobra should keep her secret lab in better shape. What about the energy Cans drink? Cans of Cobra's favorite energy drink. Huh. Ugh, dang it. On getting stuck. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Let me keep on going. Uh, let me try to make my way over here for a second and go inside here. Uh, do we have any fuel? Oh, we do. Look at that. Oil puddle. So, this is where I gotta soak in the threads. I can right? make a fuse by soaking the yep, strand in oil. Thoughts. That's it. Alright, we got it. And now, if I put this now in. Now it's impregnated with oil. This will make the perfect fuse. There. Dr. There we go. Dijon's homemade smoke bomb, patent pending, ready to use. I hope this is legal. <laughs> All right, so we got that going. Uh, let me see if I can now actually do something about uh, this thing. So let me use this with him. Psst. You got something for me? It wasn't easy. I had to break a few rules. Hand it over, kid. It's a smoke bomb. It should emit a small cloud of smoke and attract the officer's attention. Perfect. Here's the plan. I throw the bomb. When the security cops go over to investigate, I bust into the last and found. What about me? You do absolutely nothing. Ready? Ready. Seriously? Is that it? <laughs> oh god, that what? was a hell I of an explosion. Captain, an attack! <coughs> Code red! Whoa. Code red! <coughs> oh, my hanger! <coughs> Looks like Luke's chemicals were a little too potent. Don't panic, everyone! What the heck kind of decoy is that? I can't see! <laughs> <coughs> 
Don't worry, I'll take care of the lost and found. Nobody move. Did it I'll work? Activate emergency ventilation. <coughs> wow, that was insane. Oh, never mind. I gotta go here actually. Ow! I kicked something. <laughs> I think this is the lost and found receptacle. Who goes yeah, buddy. there? Grab it. The door's a little stiff. There's something in there. Got oh. it. With all this smoke, I can't see what it is. <sighs> Found the override. Nobody move. I better hide. Is it even oh, working? Ah, no. oh, there we go. We worked. Perfect. My hanger. <laughs> it's filthy. Oh my god. This Take is a break, all filthy. Team. We'll finish cleaning the whale tomorrow. Oh, she's taking a break. I'll get on with the day's itinerary. Let's there we see go. what was in the lost and found. Two pieces of gum. Yes! Seriously? Well, at least, uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be able to do with the pieces of gum. I'm guessing we got to give one to him because we talked about uh, uh, breaking this one into 50-50. But the thing is, I think she, uh, Petra right here is actually going to start dealing with the packages, uh, which is probably going to give me some new stuff that we're going to be able to play with. So let me just go and chat with this fella. And I think I'm going to have to give him kid? one piece of the gum. Uh, do -do -do. Have you seen those wanted posters? I've got access to the lost and found. I got access to the lost and found. So? Honestly, share the spoils, hide the truth. Let me share the spoils. I got what was inside the lost and found. I didn't think you had what it takes, kid. Show me the merchandise. Well, that's the problem. It was just a pack of chewing gum. Chewing gum? What are we talking? A thousand units? Two sticks. Two? You owe me, kid. You promised me half the loot. <laughs> sure. Here you go. One stick of gum. <laughs> huh. It was so easy. <laughs> the best heist of the year. Seriously, gum. dudes. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we gave him one stick of the gum. Hmm. Now, what's this all about, though? Let me Arctic check it out. Arctic fresh breath. Arctic fresh breath. Oh, maybe this is considered cold? So that we can put it in the machine? I don't know. Uh, but in the meantime, can I actually grab that smoke bomb I back? I prefer not to arouse suspicion. Nope, never mind. I'm not gonna do it. In that case, let me chat with Petra. Uh, I need the vehicle. Any package for Any me? Any packages for me? Yes, this big one has your name on it. I was just about to send it to you. Give me a minute. Oh! I think it's gonna go in my office. Is it? I hope there it is. you go. It should be in your lab by now. All right, perfect. I've got to go. Let me know if you need anything else. There you go. We finally done it. Now let me see. Can I actually grab myself some oil from the puddle using the glass? I'm gonna get me a cool glass of oil. Ooh. Damn. Oh, crap. The tumbler slipped out of my hands. Well, it did take up a lot of pocket space. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Did I just lose that? What about the flask? I'm gonna get me a cool glass of oil. Damn. What? The <laughs> tumbler slipped out of my hands. Well, it did take up a lot of pocket space. Well, I guess we didn't need those glasses. Man, come on, buddy. I really thought I'm gonna be able to grab that. Anyway, let's keep on going then. Uh, we know that now the uh, package is gonna be inside our office. So let me make my way back to level two here. Uh, there we go, perfect. And if I go over to my office... Oh, it's right here, look at that, large box. It's the package they sent up from the hangar. Hmm. Looks like it's already been unloaded into the sample oh. container. Okay, can I go it's inside activated. here? That can only mean one thing. There's something inside. These are the Whoa, remains of the mummy. All the stuff. They must have come from an expedition. There's a little bit of everything. Traces of hair, a sample of skin, a finger, clothes, and... Is that a sandwich? <laughs> I'm going to ask Micro. Hmm. Micro, did you unpack the shipment that just arrived? Yes. This time I remembered to put it in the sample container before it started smelling funny. They're samples from a newly discovered mummy. I'm supposed to be cataloging them, but until we find Total, I'm not doing anything. Can I do it? Dude, aren't you investigating the kidnapping? I am. This is total related. Are you playing detective again? Are the samples that just arrived really related to Total's kidnapping? Yes, highly total related. Then 
Go ahead, I guess. One more thing. A note came with the delivery. Apparently there was a mix-up in the field. One of the samples comes from a different source. They want us to work out which samples are authentic and which is the odd one out. I'm sure I can find the bogus sample. What then? We get rid of it. Using a high-tech chemical procedure? Well, I was going to throw it in the trash. <laughs> hmm. I I'm guessing that one that's uh, not good is probably going to be the sandwich. But before we do that, um, can I actually get this working? Use the chewing gum here. Arctic fresh gum. But I think it needs to be chewed to unleash its oh. power. Go ahead and chew it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hopefully this, this works. This stuff is powerful. It's unorthodox, but here goes. Oh, there we go. The temperature's gone down. But still not enough. Now it's Super green. Super green. Not far from purple. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing we may need one more cold element here uh, in order to get ourselves the purple that we're looking for. So yeah, this is definitely not done yet. We still need a little bit more. Uh, what else should I do about this though? Hmm. I'm guessing next up we gotta figure out how to work with the sample container. So let me I see if I can actually look the, use the computer. Logical work, but I can't focus on work right now. Wait, what? Uh, what about this then? This shouldn't be too difficult. I just have to find out which of these five samples doesn't belong to the same site. I don't know if we're allowed to manipulate the samples. I should read the sample information card. All right. The drawer is infused with a preservative gas that maintains humidity and prevents decay. It's meant to be harmless, but it always makes me sneeze. Hmm. It's meant to be harmless, but it always makes me sneeze. Skin tissue. The drawer is infused with a preservative gas that maintains humidity and prevents decay. It's meant to be harmless, but it always makes me sneeze. I wonder if I'm gonna need maybe this finger to put in that machine because it is cold, right? It's been held in a cold place here. I have a feeling I may need that one. Cataloging team. Permission to handle samples is granted, provided the sample in question is not too fragile and more than one unit has been found. Oof, that rules out handling most of the samples. It also says that these remains belong to someone called Jimmy Hoffer. The body was found in a boggy region of Sector 30, Formerly a kingdom known as the United States. The remains are probably <laughs> late 20th century. Early indications are that Hoffa led a sect or union that worshipped fossil powered vehicles known as trucks. Nasty. It says here he was shot in the head. Oh. So that's skin tissue, hair fibers, damaged shirt. Let me the check this out. It's infused with a preservative gas that maintains humidity. It's meant to be harmless. I mean, all these things say the same thing. I don't want to read the draw. I don't want to look at the drawer. Or I just want to look at the note there, but... I can't take it with me. According to the report, I can only handle samples that come in units of more than one. And I still don't know if this is the bogus sample. In units of more than one. I can't take it with me. According to the report, and I still don't know if this... What about this I one? can't take it with me. And I still don't know if... I feel like, again, as I was saying, I feel like I'm going to need the frozen finger. But uh, maybe in order to grab the frozen finger from here, I'm going to need to bring another one so that we have two of them. Cataloging. Oof. It also says the body was found. The remains are nasty. All right. Well, um, hmm. let me chat with Michael for a second. How shriver about the contents of the drawer? Have you found anything yet? Yeah, let me about go with that. About the contents of the drawer. I don't know much about them, but go ahead. Tell me what you know about the mummy. You know, for the record. I can only tell you what it said in the note. Apparently, the authenticity of the finds is in question. The team who found the mummy messed up and included an item that didn't come from the site. We'll have to work out which item is the odd one out and separate it from the rest. Uh-huh. I'll be back. See you later, man. Interesting. So again, we cannot work at the computer, right? I should do some research on the mummy that just oh, came in. I need to go. find out about this Jimmy Hoffer if I'm going to identify his remains. There's got to be some archived photo from the period. All right. Here we go. I knew Let's it. Let's see. I love research. I'll enter the data that appeared in the field report. Jimmy Hoffa, USA Two trucker. Two images found for United States and oh. Truckers Union. There is no cross-reference for the terms Jimmy Hoffa or 1950 to 2000. We recommend that you perform a manual search to optimize the results. Only two matches. Oh, God. Not a great start. 
I'll have to continue the search manually. Which of these two images could bring me closer to Jimmy Hoffa? Well, Jimmy Hoffa was a trucker. Uh, Teamsters National Union of America. No, I'm pretty sure this is the one. He was a trucker, which means he was putting gas in his truck, right? So Maybe let me go with this, this one. picture has something to do with Jimmy Hoffa and the trucker's union. All right. Uh, next up, what do we got here? I mean, this definitely looks like a truck, but this one as well. Interesting. I mean, both of them could work. This one uh, says 1959, so maybe the year is more important than this one. Uh, yeah, you know what? I feel like this one right here is more over 2000s because this guy has a phone. We got an airplane back there, so yeah, it's probably this I'll one. I'll try the red trucks. All right. Uh, the news. Have I decided who you're going to vote for? And then we got this one, but this one might not be a truck. Pretty sure it's probably this one Let's because this one shows America. Takes me. All right, Bill Lee for president and Kennedy for president. Oh God, I don't know which president was in uh, which year, but I think I'm gonna go with Kennedy. I'm gonna try Kennedy. U.S. president. Oh no, this is not right. This is way too far. Uh, president Kennedy assassinated. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Let's this one. Let's see where the paper takes me. JFK murder solved 500 years later. I'm focusing too much on Kennedy. Mm. There's nothing here about Hoffa. I'm going to start again. Dang it, seriously? All right, let me go with gas. Red. Uh, this? I want to see more puppies. <laughs> no, I don't want to see more puppies. All right, gas. Red. News. Maybe Billy. Mm. Hmm. Famous and dangerous. Gangster. 1950, 1970. Uh, this one is 1960. Let me go with this one. The dates one. look right. I don't know if Hoffa was famous and dangerous, let alone a gangster. Oh, he was shot in the head. So I think we got it right. And look at that. We got the burger. So probably this is the sandwich. The sandwich is definitely right. Uh, this is his outfit. Probably the finger. Jimmy Hoffa, 1975. Right. Yeah, look at that. I can't Even believe his it. name. Is that really Hoffa? I'm going to print it. Looks like his killer took a picture of him just before the assassination. Ugh. Huh. Hold up, can I actually see it? Look at that. A picture of Jimmy Hoffa. It's a miracle I found it in the archives. Hmm. Do I have to give this to him? I found a picture of the mummy from the drawer. But I still don't know which one is the bogus sample. I don't know, man. I'm no expert on mummies. Huh. Interesting. So how can I figure this out? I can't take it with me. According to the report, I can only handle samples that come in units of more than one. And I still don't know if this is the bogus sample. In units of more than one. It's the same sandwich Hoff yep, is eating exactly. in the photograph. Ugh. It didn't look very appetizing in the 1970s either. Hoffa's last meal. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic. Ah, so we marked it down. All right, well, we definitely know that the sandwich is the one, and we definitely know that the outfit is Maybe the I'll same as well. Maybe I'll find some link between the photo and this sample. Yep, look at that. It's the same, the same shirt, shirt he's wearing in the picture. This is what Hoffa wore on the last day of his life. I'm going to mark this sample Perfect. as authentic. All right, next up, let me go with the hair. The hair color matches, but that's inconclusive. Mm -hmm. So we cannot mark that down. It's impossible to tell if it was his skin just by looking at a photograph. So, we know he had fingers, but I can't tell if this is one of them. Hmm. Interesting. So, we definitely knew that these ones are the correct ones, but I don't know how to figure out the rest, though. It's a little bit more complicated, apparently. It's impossible to tell if it was his skin just by look. Maybe I gotta go, hold up, maybe I gotta go at the morgue uh, to try to figure this out. So let me go in the basement then. Man, this game is not easy at all. The puzzles are really, really complicated. And I love it that we're doing so much detective work in this game. When I started playing this game, I never thought that we're gonna be able to do uh, so much work. I don't want to interfere with Frida's investigation anymore. 
Oh, man, I really wanted to grab one of uh, one piece of the hand, one uh, finger there. But anyway, hmm. So we cannot do anything with this guy. Uh, let me see if I can actually chat with Frida. Frida, enjoy your break. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Show her the photo. Frida, go ahead, Henry. You're a mummy expert. Can you give me a hand? I guess so. I found this picture of a 20th century mummy which has just been discovered. That's not a mummy, Henry. Well, not yet. He became a mummy after the picture was taken. Let me see that. What do you need to know? Anything that can help me identify the remains would help. It's hard to say much without being able to dissect his brain. I only have the photo. Pity. It's a little discolor, but I'd say the subject had skin type delta. Ah. That was rare for the 20th century. The subject would have had light eyes and freckles in the form of a constellation, plus an 80% likelihood of hay fever and a 30% chance of enjoying folk music. Science is amazing. So, <laughs> freckles in the form of a constellation. Here, this reference chart might help. Thanks again, Frida. Oh, hold up. So she's definitely being really helpful. Look at that, she gave me something. A freckle chart. According to Frida, Jimmy Hoffa's skin would have freckles in the shape of one of these constellations. I should compare the chart with a sample of Hoffa's skin. Ah, all right, let me go ahead and uh, check that out then. Uh, let me go back to level two. There we go. Man, the amount of detective work they added in this game is just insane. I love it. I've always loved these type of uh, games, but I was not expecting this one to work like that. And look at this, these are the freckles. So if I go ahead and grab this one. According to Frida, Jimmy Hoffa's skin should have this freckle formation. I'll compare them. There's a match. The top right constellation. Yep. This skin sample really belonged to Jimmy Hoffa. Awesome. I'll leave Frida's chart next to the sample. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic. Perfect. All right. Uh, now, how do I figure I'm gonna this one out? I'm going to take a strand for analysis. Oh. All right, so we got a strand for analysis, and I'm guessing. No, 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 no. Don't do that. The body was found. The I gotta go back to Frida. Nasty. I feel like Frida's gonna be the one that's gonna help me with the uh, strand of hair as well. So let me make my way back to Frida once again. Go to basement. Oh, man, this is just so good. I love it. And now let me show. Hold up. Let me show the the hair to Frida. Frida, what can you tell me about this sample? There we go. It works. Human hair. Do you need a dating? No, yep. a date isn't enough. I need to know if it belongs to a particular sample collection. Well, if you have contextual data, I could do a component analysis. If the components of the hair match the authentic samples, you'll know it's genuine. That sounds perfect. I'll leave you to it. What do you mean? Wait, what? what about the neural colloid? The what or whatoid? The chemical reagent that facilitates component analysis? I thought you'd have some. How could I have some? I assumed you would. I have some. Okay, so could we use yours? No way! It's the only reagent I have left from the little princess's first chemistry set I got when I was six. It has sentimental value. Oh, come on! The little princess first chemistry set? The little princess first chemistry set was Seriously overrated. now? It's not a patch on the little princess's first archaeological survey kit. Maybe not, but it meant the most to me. Dang it. Please. Please, please, please. I don't know, Henry. That chemistry set is a collectible now. <laughs> uh, oh, hold up. Can we shed a tear? I... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No, no. Uh, you know I can't stand to see a grown archaeologist cry. I'm not crying. I can see you crying. You win. I'll use the last of my neural colloid. Give me a sec. There we go. We got her convinced. Perfect. Well, the sample appears to contain traces of oil, CO2, gunpowder, and shampoo. Does that help? Gunpowder? The report said Hoffa was shot in the head. Thanks, Frida. I'm glad it helped. All right, and I think we solved it. The mystery is solved. I can take the bogus sample. And I'm guessing the bogus sample is definitely the finger, exactly the one that we needed. I'm just hoping that the finger is actually going to be frozen or really, really cold so that we can use it with the device. Uh, let's just see if it's going to work. So now if I go over here. Oh, we already marked this one and we can actually All grab the, the finger. samples are authentic, then the finger must be the yep, bogus sample. Exactly. It's elementary, could be useful. Here we go. We got the sample. 
Now, let me check the uh, finger for a second here. A frozen finger. It it's has a frozen finger. manicure. All right, well, if it's frozen, pretty sure we got to put it in here. So let me just go ahead and grab it. Stick it in here. Look at that. I knew carrying a frozen oh, finger it. Hold was up. a good it's idea. It's blue. It's not purple. I can feel the cold emanating from the capsule. Mm. Yeah, so we got this going, but... I can feel the cold emanating from the capsule. Apparently, we need one more final cold element. Hmm. Interesting. Let me chat with this fella then. How, uh, how's it going? About the uh, contents of the drawer. About the contents of the drawer. I've already figured out which is the odd one out. The finger was the only object that had no connection to the mummy. Hold up. The finger? I just heard there was an accident during excavation. One of the archaeologists lost a finger. He's just been fitted with a state-of-the-art bionic digit. So, I guess he doesn't need his old finger anymore? I'll hang on to it. Whatever, just don't mix it up with the <laughs> other finds. All right, well, uh, I guess we got it. Huh. I'll be back when I know something. See you later, man. Interesting. All right, well, we got that going. We know that we need one more cold element adding here. And it may be the... Yeah, I don't know. It may be the uh, snow that we can get outside. But the problem is I don't know how to get it up here without it uh, melting. It's too valuable. I can't risk losing it. Yeah, we definitely cannot give it to her. Hmm. Let's see. What else? What else have we got here? We got the screwdriver, the screen notes. Uh, can I give this to him? I mean, I don't think so. I found a picture of the mummy from the drawer. What mummy? What drawer? Weren't we investigating Total's disappearance? He's yes, so confused yes, of right course. now. I'm on it. All right, never mind. So that did not work. Hmm. How can I get some more cold stuff in here, though? I'm really confused right now. Hmm. Now. As usual, uh, grabbing the snow, of course, it's not going to work. So, let me try something else. Uh, let me try to make my way right over here for a second. Uh, can I get something from those boxes? For the attention of Dr. Shale and Dr. Ruby. They must be in the geology department. No, fortunately. Uh, what about if I try to chat with this fella? What's up, kid? I need uh, the hover jet. Have you seen those wanted posters? Have you seen those wanted posters? You ask a lot of questions, kid. Like I said, it's Purple here. He's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest hoverjet pilots. But no. Hmm. I'll All right, leave buddy. you alone. Stay sharp, kid. What if I... What if I actually show him this? I'm an artistic genius. Maybe this could help me hire his hoverjet. Hey! Look oh, what I there found. we go. Where did you get this? The security cops? Uh, yeah. B -b -b how? I got no criminal record in Sector 2. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to get out of town. I hear Sector 7 is a great place to lie low. Nah, if I run, I'll only attract their attention. I gotta be smart about this. Let's see them find me now. <laughs> What the hell did he really do? Good disguise, huh? <laughs> There's no disguise. way they'll recognize me now. Huh. Interesting. So he transformed his hair into blonde. Hmm. This dice spray still has the security tag on. I think it's stolen. What are you doing, kid? Um, can I borrow your die? Meh. I owe you for the heads up. Sure. Alright, so apparently we got the die, the blonde hair die. I have a feeling I may need to uh, put purple inside this one. But the thing is, I still haven't figured how to get that to be um, purple. What's up, kid? Have you seen those wanted posters? I'll leave you. You never saw. Hmm. Now, we don't have the poster anymore, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm supposed to grab it again. Anyway, let me keep on going. Let me try to figure out what I got to do with this die. Uh, can I actually make it maybe cold if I grab some snow from here? I'm going to take... Yeah, we got some snow. I don't think it's going to... Outside yeah, the... yeah, I know, I know. And what if I combine this I together? I don't need to dye that blonde. I don't need to I dye that need... blonde. And I was just hoping I could put this inside, but... Hmm. Lab coat. I think I've lost it from... Yeah, I don't want that. I, I just want some more snow or something. 
Oh. Yep, I know. I know that melted. Alright, in that case, let me see if I can actually do something with the die. I don't even know if the die is gonna be cold or not, but... I'm still hoping that it's gonna work. Because I am really, really stuck at the moment. Actually, hold up. I've already got the rogue sample. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to grab some... Mm, I just wanted to grab some snow from here, but it doesn't look like we can do anything to uh, this side. Uh, let me check this out then. So we got all of these done. From what I remember, this device heats or cools stuff. I should I put know. the sample I want to heat or cool in the clamp, and then put the hot... I know. Now, it doesn't look like we can grab all this stuff back anymore. We got some dials it's over here, but uh, all it's saying is that it's on and working. Hmm. I don't think that's a good reference sample. The capsule needs something hot or cold. Hmm. Come on, Henry. You know the reference samples go in the capsule. I know. Can I use this with the Come thermometer? On, Henry. Use this with it? Come on, Henry. <sighs> Dang From it. what I remember, I should put How and am then I supposed put the to do this. Huh. Still stuck in here for some reason. Alright, so after replaying the game once again, because I feel like the game might actually be glitched. Although, after playing the game, I feel like it may not be glitched. Uh, but anyway, that being said, I did manage to grab all the ice elements uh, in order to put in the machine. Uh, but uh, after a bit of exploration, I feel like I may actually be missing one more element to add to the machine there. Uh, which, from what I discovered by searching the internet uh, i was really really sure that the game was glitched here but apparently it is not apparently i do still need to find something more and from what i've seen that's something that we gotta find may actually be inside here There's something under this sheet of paper hmm breath spray cool eucalyptus breeze apparently it's hard you empty, kidding me right now I'm taking it all right so apparently we got a breath spray and if I'm not mistaken, the breast spray here is actually going to give a little bit more coldness uh, to the device so that we get the right combination. So, uh, yeah, apparently the game was not glitched. Uh, it was just my user error here. Uh, completely forgetting about one more element that we had to find. But anyway, now that we got everything back again, let me try to interact with this. Let me put this I on could here. Alter the temperature of the chromatic thermometer. I should be able to make it reach purple. All right, there now we go. We got it. Reference sample. Micro, what happened to the lab ice box? It went kablooey in the last blackout. Sorry, <laughs> I can't get spare parts until next week. You'll have to find a refrigerant somewhere else. Hmm. All right, so we got that going. Uh, let me put the ice cubes. There we the go. We we'll change the color, the color of course. Of the thermometer. Perfect. Uh, let me put the finger. There I knew go. carrying a frozen finger was a good idea. Uh, now that we got the breath spray, let me use this one with the finger. Mm, this eucalyptus breath spray might help. Look it at that. Worked. The temperature dropped. Perfect. Uh, let me add the Arctic chewing gum. fresh gum. But I think it needs to be chewed to unleash its power. Yeah, buddy. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This stuff is powerful. It's unorthodox, but here goes. All right. We got that. The temperature's gone down. And finally, I feel like we need the icicle. This can't fail. There we go. We got it purple. Okay. Finally. Not as cold as I expected, but it worked. Yep, exactly. And finally, in order to get that, I believe I got to break this I open. I can't transfer the purple liquid with this. Oh, never mind. Uh, what about if I grab this then? This could work. I'll pour the purple liquid into the spray. I think I can crack the thermometer with my trowel. Whoops. Now oh it's God. exposed to the air. The color should be fixed. Careful. I there we go. Purple hands. All right. So we got the purple spray now, which means uh, if I do make my way now to the pilot and give him the uh, purple spray, hopefully he's going to spray it on his head. And uh, we are going to get this puzzle finally completed. So actually, let me make my way to the hall. You go, buddy. Let me make my way straight to the pilot. All right, let's see. Hopefully, this is gonna work. And what if I give this to the pilot? Hmm. He could use a change of look. 
left. <laughs> Perfect. Did I actually spray them? Didn't even notice. What the heck? What's up, kid? Uh, I need a hover jet. Have you seen those wanted posters? Yeah, let me go with Have that. Have you seen those wanted posters? That's purple here. He assaulted the mayor's miniature pincher. And I heard he beat up his dog, too. I mean, there's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest hover jet pilots. But no. <laughs> I'll leave Alright, so alone. apparently he's not step. aware of his hair right now. Uh, but what if I actually chat with the police officers and tell them that this guy has purple ahead, hair? Dr. Bijon. Let's see. Isn't that purple hair? The infamous criminal? Here? Let's pummel him, sir. Don't be so hasty. <laughs> we need reinforcements. I'm on it. Roger, Roger. Urgent backup requested. Suspect pummeling imminent. Over. How long will they be? A few minutes. They're out shopping for the chief's anniversary party. Tell them I finished the last carton of mega milk. On it. We need milk. Repeat, we need milk. Over. All right, so now we got the cops on it. Uh, I feel like we got to tell them about it, though. What's up, kid? Uh, have I seen those wanted posters? I'll leave you alone. Don't even trust your shadow, kid. Wait, what? We're not done? Alright, what about if I chat with Petra? I mean, need I've a got vehicle. To go. let me know. You know, let me try to get out of this area and then come back. Maybe something's gonna happen. Oh, hold up. Yeah, look at that. The ship is coming in. Let me oh, go back then. Looks like look the that. reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Purple hair, you are surrounded. Surrender, and you will be harmed. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, you will not be harmed. Oh god, look at them. He's hiding inside. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, finally, we did it. Um, can I actually Secure chat with these? Seem busy. Yeah. I should leave them alone. All right, let me go ahead and chat with Stay Purple Hair, I guess. Son. He's dangerous. Maybe I can talk him into uh, surrendering. That boy's a true hero. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can chat with them. Stay back, coppers. I'm crazy. Hey, kid, <laughs> you still need a ride? I gotta disappear for a while, and I need money. So, you'll take us to Sector 7? Heck, I'll take you to Phobos World of Water Slides. Anywhere. Just get in before the security cops make their move. I have to gather the rest of my team first. Ah, jeez, hurry. Excellent. We have a hover jet. Let's see. I still need to find out where Total's been taken. Huh. All right. Well, apparently we have figured out the issue here with the hover jet. We finally got ourselves a hover jet here. But uh, before I'm going to be able to leave, we still have to figure out that save that Cobra has got in her secret lab, uh, which at the moment I'm not quite sure exactly what that code is. We only know that the third code in there is the uh, Eye of Ra, but uh, I have no idea how to figure out the rest. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Metropolis. And when we come back in the next one, I'm going to try to figure that one out. Uh, I'm going to try to gather all the rest of the uh, crew here uh, to join us on our uh, journey. And then uh, we're going to have to wait and see uh, where we're going to be able to go with this hover jet. But once again, guys, thank you all very much for watching. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, do consider doing that as I plan to bring you guys even more of these point and click adventure games in the future. And stay safe out there. I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye, everybody.